So now we're gonna solve the problem two pearls. Task, given an integer n and n space separated integers as input. Create a tuple t of those n integers. Then compute and print the result of hash from t. Note hash is one of the functions in the built-in built-ins module, so it need not be imported. Okay, the first line contains an integer n denoting the number of elements in the tuple. The second line contains n space separated integers describing the elements in tuple t. So the input is 0 and the output is 2 and 1 and 2. Uh, the input is 2, 1, 2 and the sample output is 3, 7, 1, 3, 0, 8 and so on. Let's understand this now. Given an integer n and n space separated integers as input. Create a tuple t of those n integers. Then compute and print the result of hash from t. Okay, so we have to create a tuple of this whole input. So let's look up what is tuple in Python. Python tuple. Tuples are used to store multiple items in a single variable. Okay, tuple is one of four built-in data types. And you build it with the round brackets. They can have items with the same value. So two times apple. But how do you create them? So the question is how to create a tuple. Of course you can write my tuple and then you have a tuple. So for example we can write my tuple equals this is a tuple and that's how we have a tuple. Let's print my tuple. This is a tuple. But how do you add to a to a tuple? How do you add to it? n equals int from raw input. Okay, so let's see what has already happened here. So we have an n where we put an integer as a raw input and then we make an integer list where we map int to the raw input and then split it. So let's maybe print first the integer and print the integer list to understand this, what we get as input. So we get 2 and 1, 2 as input. Okay, and this should go into a tuple. Create a new tuple. So the question is how can we put the n integer and the integer list in the same tuple? How do we create a tuple and then add to the tuple so that this 2, 1 and 2 are part of the tuple? And then the last one would be just to use the hash function where we just make hash from this tuple that we then created. So this is probably the easy part. The difficult part now is how to put these two n and integer list into the tuple. This is the question we have to be have to get answered. How to add to a tuple in Python. Maybe let's ask it like this. How to append elements in Python's tuple. That sounds good. So Python tuple is an immutable object. That means you cannot change it. Okay. Oh, okay, you can make tuple from L1 and then you turn it into a tuple. Interesting. You cannot change a tuple anymore. But what you can do is you can make a list and then add to that list so let's make a list, my list. We can make a list with these brackets, with not with the round one, but with the square ones, with the square brackets. And now we add to that list the n, the integer that we have here, and also the integer list. So now we have a list with both of these, and then let's print this list to see how it looks like now. So it's all about getting the right data types here and getting it in the format that we want. And the key question is really how to get these two elements into a tuple. Okay, so now we have two, one, two. So we have it both in a list. Now is the question, is it enough? That's actually a list inside a list here because integer list was already a list. Can we just transform this into a tuple? Let's try. So we have the list my list now, and now we want to make a tuple from my list, and we use the function tuple. And let's 
call that my tuple. My tuple equals tuple from my list. And let's put my tuple. Let's print my tuple now. Okay, so we don't really have what we want because we have here still these square brackets. We don't want these square brackets here. We would like to have a tuple where it's just two, one, two without these square brackets. So maybe we make it a list, but we call the integer, the elements from the integer list. Okay, but they are not always two elements. They can be also more than two elements. So how can I get all these elements in the list? What we could do is, so first we say my list equals n. So now we have a list with just one, just one element that is n. And then we say for every element in the integer list, so for every element in integer list, we want to add this to our list. How can we add to a list in Python? How to add to a list in Python? I think we had it here. In this example, at one point append. Okay, so we say my list point append because we want to append something and we want to append integer list the element here in the integer list so every element then in the end we want to print my list so we make a for loop and then we use every element and we append every element from integer list to my list. Okay, this doesn't work. Index out of range. Let's call it like this. For i in integer list, my list punct append integer from i minus one actually. Okay, so now we got it. So we have two one two as an input. And we have 212 as output and now all we have to do is to turn this 212 into a tuple and then to turn the tuple into a hash function. So what did we do here? We created a new list called my list and we filled it up with one element and that element is this n integer. Then we made a for loop and we went through all the elements in the integer list because there can be two as in this example, but there can also be more. It says n sep space separated integers. So n can be any number really. So we go through any number of this integer list and we append into this my list every element that we have in integer list. Now, why did we do minus one here? That is because in for loop we count one two three four five but if we c call the element in integer list we actually count from zero we say zero one two three and so on so we this is just a formality of python that we have to take minus one so that we really take the elements if there are two elements we have to note in, notate them here as zero and one but here four is actually counting them one and two so that's why we have to do minus one here. Okay, so what this gives us out is a list called my list with all the elements that we need. So the next step would be to make a tuple from this list because the data type list is not what we want. We want a data type tuple. And now because we have it in this nice format, we can also make a tuple exactly how we want. And from this tuple, now we can make the hash. Um, value and the hash value we actually generate just by using the hash function and it is said here in the description that hash is one of the built-in functions from Python so we can just use it like this hash from okay so actually we have to give this a name so we say my tuple equals tuple from my list and then we make hash from my tuple and we want to print this out so we want to print the hash value in the end print from hash from my tuple and that should be our solution let's see if it works nope we have hash value 378 
and so on, but it is a different hash value than the expected output. So the question is why? So let's see if we understood the task correctly. Given an integer n and n space separated integers as input, create a tuple t of those n integers. I thought that we did that. Then compute and print the result of hash from t. Hash is one of the built functions, so it need not to be imported. The first line contains an integer n, denoting the number of elements in the tuple. The second line contains n... Ah, create a tuple of those n integers. So we don't have to actually create a tuple with the first one. It just... The first one just says how many elements are in this list so that we could use our functions with this information from the first one. But we actually don't need this information because we have a general solution here. No matter how many elements in this integer list, we can always we can always um, work with it because we made a for loop for every element in integer list. So we can just discard this uh, first information from n. We don't actually have to put n into the list from the first line. This is just this is just a uh, information. So we leave this empty, this list, and then we say for every element in integer list, for i, for example, you can call it however you want, we append from the integer list to my list. Well, actually, now that I think about it, we can also just make tuple from my list. Hmm? Why not? So we can just discard all of this and we just make my tuple equals tuple from integer list and then we print hash from my tuple that should be enough we don't have to make our own list here so let's see if this works and it works so we made it way harder than it actually should be and we have the solution now